Hello, students. This is Mr. Gore, and I want to create a little video to show you how to navigate this course and show you where everything um, is exactly located in this. Um, so we're at the home page, and I'm in the student view right now. You're going to click on start here. This is where I'm going to have a welcome video to the course. I'm also going to post this navigation video right below that. This right here is really important. This is a Respondus lockdown browser download link that you will need um, to complete any test or quiz in this course. If I click on it, it's going to take me right here. Normally, you're going to have an SAU emblem, but if I clicked on this, it would take me exactly um, right here to this install page, and I would click install now. It only works on a PC or a Mac, so it doesn't work for a Chromebook or a tablet. Um, you will have to have one of those devices in order to complete tests and quizzes in this course. Um, here is the email policy. I respond to emails uh, within 24 hours, Monday through Friday. Um, and then here is where you're going to access the syllabus quiz, the self-introduction, the Blackboard scavenger, and all three of these are required at the beginning of the course. You're also going to see instructor information about myself if, um, and then the course syllabus, very important, right here. I um, recommend that you download and save a copy of this. Also, I have the welcome video course here as well. So here's where the syllabus is. Here's also where the daily syllabus is the calendar of when all your assignments are due. Uh, this right here is a link that will take you to where you can sign up for the two-week trial access for uh, Launchpad with your textbook. Um, you will have to purchase full access. Some of you that had me last semester can um, hopefully purchase the 12-month access so you can just use your access code again to gain access to this textbook uh, and so forth. But it's very important that you access all your learning curve assignments from Blackboard so that way they will, um, after you finish and return to Blackboard, they'll sync to your grades within a couple hours. Here is the calendar link. And this is really important because it, it shows you where all of your um, assignments and do, are, are, um, are when they're due and so forth. And so, um, as it should be loading, it's taking a little time here. Anyway, but it, uh, it's taking a little bit time lo longer to load on my uh, internet and so forth. Actually, it may not be showing up because the course is not available yet, and I'm on the student view. Um, so the course announcements, uh, very important. I post uh, uh, an announcement every Sunday reminding you what is due that week. So there's no announcements yet because the course hasn't began yet, but you would see them right here. Um, this is where you're going to access your chapter content, uh, your learning curve or learning uh, curve assignments, your chapter reading quizzes, the lecture notes, the PowerPoints, and my recorded lectures. So let me just show you module one. I'm not going to show you that for all four of them, but here's the module overview. It's got um, objectives and so forth. It's got a step by step of when you should, um, how you should uh, complete your assignments. Uh, module readings. Here's the folder for the lecture notes and PowerPoints. Very important here is the folder for where my recorded lectures are posted. And I have them, I try to title them um, to relate to the, the, the chapter, but I'm not always successful at that. Um, so like Guild Age Politics um, covers parts of chapter 19 and so forth. Um, and, and, and for module one, chapter 19 is kind of split up uh, into two parts. Um, I, the Guild Age Politics part is in module one, but then the progressive error uh, part is in uh, module two. So just keep that in mind that you're going to have as, uh, aspects of that. Um, and so that's the recorded lectures. Go back to the module folder here. And then, um, and this are the crash course U.S. history videos we posted here. So it's very important that you access uh, each learning curve assignment from a link provided back Blackboard. This is how it guarantees that the grade will sync within a couple hours. Um, very important part right here. This is your module one test study guide. You have one for module two and three. I recommend that you download this um, and you can either type it up or print it out and write, hand write. But as you read each chapter, anytime you see one of those concepts listed on the, in the textbook, go ahead and write down what you uh, see um, um, or type up. It's your choice. And so you notice all these tests do require Respondus Lockdown Browser. Um, discussions are where you're going to find um, your um, uh, self-introduction and so forth, as well as your film assignment discussions. And then your actual film assignments themselves are going to be located in this link. And so the first link is it takes you to the, to the actual video. So if I clicked on it, it's going to take me to the PBS website where we can watch the video on um, 
the murder of a president. My internet's going slow. Um, and so here's where you're actually going to uh, submit your assignment. You're going to click on this. On the next page, you should be able to see where you will select a file, you'll upload it, and then you'll click submit to actually turn in your assignment. Same thing for second film assignment and third film assignment. Uh, you also have your final exam. Uh, this is very important. This is where you're going to access that along with um, your study guide. And then I've also got some additional resources um, where you're going to access different things that help you with um, uh, the course and so forth. Now, also, um, this is where you're going to click on to access your grades right here. Um, learner support. So if you ever uh, need any academic accommodations and so forth, you would go to learner support. Um, very important um, office on campus. McGill Library is where you can access the online um, university library tools and so forth. Um, this will help you. Um, and this actually takes you to the um, uh, school uh, bookstore online and so forth to order your textbook materials. So that is how you would navigate the course. Uh, make sure um, that you email me with any questions if you're not sure where to find something. Thanks.